we are looking at the temporal bone in this video. So I'm going to be turning the skull to the side here and outlining the bony area. This is the temporal bone. We have quite a few bony landmarks that we're going to discuss for the temporal bone, but we're just going to start off by again labeling all the outer boundaries of it. So anterior to the temporal bone we have the sphenoid, specifically the greater wing. Uh, superior to it all along here we have the parietal bone and posterior to it in this area we have the occipital bone. Anterior to this one specific what we call zygomatic arch we have the zygomatic bone and then we have our articulation with our mandible at the temporal mandibular joint. Okay I'm going to be taking off the cap and bringing us in a little bit closer here so you can take a nice look at some of those suture and connection lines of our temporal bone. So again all the way along that edge and then dropping down towards our mastoid process. A couple bony landmarks for the ear and styloid and then articulation with the mandible in the fossa here. Okay, we're going to start at the posterior aspect. This is known as our mastoid process. This is a very large bony attachment for multiple muscles. Uh, a couple that you might recognize would be sternocleidomastoid from the anterior heading towards that and then coming in from the back is going to be splenius capitis. As I rotate, this is again the mastoid process looking from an inferior view. Just inside of that is our mastoid notch. So we have our posterior digastric coming out of this notch and heading forward towards the hyoid bone. We have a mastoid foramen right inside this location here. And just kind of to the posterior, this isn't really named in all textbooks, but in behind the ear, they call this the mastoid area or mastoid part. So that's kind of just anterior to the superior nuchal line of the occipital bone and the suture kind of meeting point and asterions right in this location, and they call this the mastoid area. Okay, as I head anterior from the mastoid, I'm going to be entering into an opening. Now this is actually typically fully open, um, but in the skull it's closed. But this is your external acoustic meatus or external auditory meatus. This is the outer ear opening, so your ear hole, so your ear is covering over top of that. Inferior and core deep to that, we have this styloid process that's pointing out. This is going to be for stylohyoid muscle. And then beginning into this zygomatic arch, which the zygomatic arch is better represented by looking down on it. And so we can see that this is an arch away from the skull itself. And the posterior part of that zygomatic arch is the temporal bone, specifically this zygomatic process reaching towards the zygomatic bone. And I'm just going to pull the mandible down. So I've pulled the head of the mandible out. And this is our mandibular fossa of the temporal bone, which is for the head or condyle, depending on what you want to call it, of the mandible going up in there. And that is for our, obviously, this action occurring at the temporal mandibular joint. And the last thing I'm going to point out on this arch, this bump right here is known as the articular tubercle. So as you open your mouth, we have this component and a secondary movement forward. So we have all this rolling and then this anterior translation or glide. So as you start to open your mouth, but then fully open your mouth, it's not going to go that far. Um, but this is known as the articular tubercle, which helps with opening and closing between a disc and the head of the mandible there. So this is the zygomatic arch as a full part versus this is the zygomatic process of the temporal bone and their suture between the two of them, the mandibular fossa and the articular tubercle. Last thing I'm going to point out, we've just kind of discussed this in previous, let me get the cap back in here as well, that we have the full temporal fossa 
And so this whole outlined area here is the temporal fossa, um, but this part specifically is the temporal bone, and that is this whole area, the origin of the muscle temporalis. So you aren't able to feel any kind of these sutures, these lines, because this is completely covered by the temporalis muscle, which is going down through that zygomatic arch and that opening towards this coronoid process of the mandible. So we'll probably discuss that in the muscle video. Okay, I'm gonna take that away. That has basically covered the majority of the bony landmarks. Some will reference this thin part of the temporal bone here as known as squamous, and then the thicker part near that mastoid and internally here through this is all known as the petrus, which basically just means thick. So that, again, is the majority of the bony landmarks for the temporal bone, and that's gonna conclude our video for today.